operating for more than 40 years, but environmentalists are renewing concerns over a Central Texas coal power plant and the potential impact right here in our area. The Fayette Power Project is run by Austin Energy and the LCRA. It's in Fayette County, northeast of LaGrange, and KXAN's Nabil Rabana takes a closer look at critics' claims that the plant is poisoning people and the environment. Chanting outside Austin Energy's headquarters, activists like Barbara Fatante are hoping for change. Austin has some responsibility for the poisoning that has already taken place. In Fayette County, the people are hurting. The people are frustrated. What's your hope from this protest here today? Uh, our hope is that we can convince Austin Energy that there is a need for independent comprehensive testing out in Fayette and that they fund that testing. Austin Energy's generation plan outlined getting rid of its share of the Fayette Power Project, or FPP, coal plant by the end of 2022. It owns the plant with the LCRA. In a statement from Austin Energy, they say they've been unable to reach mutually agreeable terms that would allow the utility to affordably retire its share of FPP as originally envisioned. The debate over this power plant has been going on for years. And we don't want them to get out of it. We want them to transition to solar, which they can fight for. Luke Metzger with Environment Texas says for now the coal plant could be helping keep the lights on in Texas especially with tight grid conditions. But he says the future is with renewable energy. Clean energy can help us avoid some of the worst pollution problems and the climate change problems from coal plants um, and make sure that uh, our electric grid is still running fine. Nabil Ramadna, KXAN News. The LCRA telling us they intend to continue operating the FPP plant as long as it continues to be a reliable, cost-effective source of power. They also said they do soil sampling and regular monitoring and testing of the groundwater. They say the groundwater testing results show no public health risk.